What's up YouTube? Welcome to .NET Mom. In this video, I will show you how to create your first C# -sharp Windows Form application in Visual Studio. This is my Visual Studio 2013. First of all, we have to create a Windows Form application. For that, you can click on this new project here or go to File, then New, then Project. Then select Windows under Visual C# -sharp, then select Windows Form application. Then name your project here. I will name it as First Windows Form application. Then select the location where you want to save this application. Then click on OK. So here we have the first brand new C# -sharp Windows Form application. When you are going to work with Windows Form application in Visual Studio, there are mainly four windows: Solution Explorer, Properties, then Toolbox, and Server Explorer. If you can't see any one of these windows, you can go to View. Then you can see Server Solution Explorer here, Server Explorer. Then you can see Toolbox here, then Properties window. Sometimes you can't see this Properties window here. In that time, you can use this shortcut F4. In Solution Explorer, it will list all of the projects available under this solution. Under Projects, it will list all of the files inside the project. Inside the properties window, you can change or add events related to the form control. Then we have solution explorer to deal with databases. Then we have toolbox in order to add new controls into this form. Here you can see buttons checkbox like that. Inside this, win inside this windows form application, here we have a default form, form 1 main building block of a windows form application is forms like this windows forms so let me run this application for that you can click on the start button here or you can use the shortcut f5 so here we have the form default form you can see the close maximize and minimize button so it is a simple form let me close this so when we run this application this default form one is displayed so where we specify this uh, windows form application windows form as the first form it is specified inside this program.cs file here you can see application.run inside that we have passed an object of this form form one now i want to change this form title here currently it is form one for that you can right click on this form then go to properties now change this i will change it as first c sharp windows form application that's it now I want to add a button into this form for that drag a button from this toolbox. Let me expand it. Now I want to change this button text for that right click then click on properties then change this text as click me. Other than this text property here you can see a lot of properties related to this button. You can change its background color, back color foreground color background image lot of properties are here for now i will keep it as it is now let me run this application for that you can click on the start button here so here we have the application here you can see the form title as for c sharp windows form application now we have the button click me if you click on that you can't see anything happens now I want to show hello world when you so click on this click me button. For that I'm gonna implement button click event for this button. For that right click on it then go to properties. Then click on this events lightning symbol in order to see all of the events related to this button. Inside that you can see a click event. Now I want to generate the click event for that double click on it. For that, you can type like this message box dot show hello world. Click on the start button here. Click on the start button. 
so here you can see the message box showing hello world string that's it guys if you have enjoyed this video please be subscribed to this channel dot network you can find more related videos in video description please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye